and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the Pure, the Black, and the Magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you like the vibe, you like the content, and you decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. This is your September energy reading. Very general. Just take what resonates. Leave what does not for the next person. Cross watchers are welcome here. Um, also, you guys... I want to say this is for the first two weeks of September. I want to start incorporating more individual sign readings for you guys. So for the first two weeks, and then we'll have another upload around the 15th. Okay, so let's see, Pisces, what do we have for you going on? We got the temperance card popping out here. So some sort of balance could be taking place. Are you trying to balance two different energies or um, just balance out something in your life? I did get a song for you guys on Pandora. Um, and it was come through by, uh, what is her name? Not Seven Streeter. I can't think of her name, but, um, it's like a remake. It's featuring Usher. Um, so it's like a remake of the, you make me want to, you know, song by Usher. So there could be, um, I don't know. It's kind of crazy because I just finished the Cancer's reading and they did have a song by Seven Streeter. It was um, Guilty and it was about, you know, like two people being in a relationship um, or at least one of them and them like feeling guilty for sneaking out with somebody else, having a third party. But you guys is with the come through. I'm kind of giving this, I'm getting the same vibe. Like maybe somebody is trying to tempt you. Okay, so that temperance card could be a Sagittarius or a fire sign. Um... And you're trying to remain balanced and not feed into temptation. But somebody could be trying to tempt you to leave whoever you're with to, you know, hook up with them, be with them or something like that. Or maybe if somebody is not trying to influence you to do so, maybe you're just feeling this way or somebody you're dealing with is feeling this way. And you might be kind of intuitively picking that up. Um, but if you're single, I kind of just get somebody wanting you to come through, but it, it feels like this person is tied to somebody else. So, um, for the readings for the individual signs, I'm almost finished and I've been picking up on a lot of like, every one of them just about has been about a, a relationship or some type of messiness, third party. So I don't know, Pisces. I hope that's not y'all, but let's see. Let's see, Pisces. Um, what did I see? I saw the King of Wands. I saw the Four of Cups and the King of Wands. So there could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius that you feel as if you missed out on the opportunity with, okay? Um, if you're feeling that way, this person was a snake. You're not missing out on nothing. They could be feeling as if they missed out on an opportunity with you by being, um, you know, by being a snake for the most part. And we got the King of Pentacles here. So it could have been the Taurus Virgo Capricorn as well. But let's see, Spirit, what do we have for my Pisces for the first couple of weeks of September? Like the video, you guys. Comment. I comment back. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more I push your energy into these messages. And I can pick up on exactly what's going on with you. So we got Earth Energy again. We got the Page of Pentacles this time. Um, so feeling very optimistic. You could be starting something new, a new job, a new business, um, a new creative idea or endeavor here. But this is, it could be school as well um hmm. some of y'all it's like a new job or a new money opportunity because it's like he dropped all of these little bologna sandwiches he's been making and he picked up this coin you could be finding some sort of money here um as well but i feel like overall your stability is increasing behind the page of pentacles we got the six of swords so this is you traveling into a better environment okay you could be moving this is you kind of like moving on up okay so i'm i'm hearing um the Jeffersons, okay, somebody's last name could be Jefferson as well, um, or you could be moving to the east side or something like that, but we got the Six of Swords, we got the Knight of Cups, and we got the Three of Cups, yeah, so it's like you're going towards, or you're moving towards something that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling, it's going to make you a very happy, some sort of celebration could be taking place as well, um, we got the Moon card, and we got the Ten of Swords, okay, and the High Priestess, hmm, You could also be moving away or separating from a King of Cups, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, which would make 
sense as to why I'm feeling that energy in you guys' reading. Um, because they did, because they were engaging in some sort of third party and you already know about this or you're finding this out. Something was kept secret with the moon card, then the ten of swords, ultimate betrayal, but with the high priestess, it's like you intuitively knew about it anyway. Justice card, it could involve um, a Libra or some sort of marriage or legal um, legalities, okay? But we got the page of pentacles here. This could represent a child as well, okay? So there could be an earth sign child in the picture towards Virgo Capricorn. What else, spirit? We got the magician, okay? We got the Ten of Wands and we have the Page of Swords. So not only the Page of Pentacles, but the Page of Swords as well. Magician, Page of Wands, and Page of Swords. Hmm. Manifesting energy, okay? Gemini, Virgo with the Magician, Page of Wands. It kind of feels like you've been working towards something here with this Page of Swords energy. I don't know how to feel about it. Let me see what else comes out. We got the three of swords with the magician. Somebody could have for sure been manipulative um, or a Gemini or a Virgo could have a lot to do with some sort of heartbreak or disappointment. Like you're disappointed in this person possibly. We got the eight of wands after the three of swords and we got the lover's card. What is going on with the energy? Like different cards for the most part, but different cards, kind of different scenarios and situations with the same toxic relationship third party messy type of energy for everybody this has to be like a collective thing going on now so the eight of wands with the lover's card it's like disappointment or heartbreak is incoming in regards to a lover situation or a gemini somebody here is lying magician somebody here is having a hard time keeping up with their lies with the magician and um the ten of wands and the page of swords it's like, or this is like a big hot lie or somebody like bit off more than they can chew as the saying goes, but somebody's having a hard time keeping up with their lies here. Um, and someone else could be pointing this out to you. Okay. You could be getting a lot of different disconfirmations here, or, um, this could be for some of you guys after heartbreaks. Okay. So if you are in separation or you've just been single for a while, this is a lot of suitors. You have like a lot of suitors coming in, but just, you know, just. Be selective, choose wisely. We got the Hermit card here. So it's a lot of Virgo energy showing up. Um, hmm, what else? The Six of Cups from your past. This could be a Virgo from your past for sure. And then we got the Four of Swords. Um, hmm. You put something about hiding from your past. Are you like really trying to heal from and separate from your past as well? Um... Page of Swords, the Lovers, and the Four of Swords, Five of Swords energy. Somebody also could have like chose wrong, feeling like they made the wrong decision. So I don't know if this is you. If you chose somebody over, you know, someone else or someone chose someone else over you, somebody is definitely feeling um, as if they chose wrong. I feel like this Virgo, though, is thinking about you or you're thinking about this Virgo. Somebody's really thinking about you, but they're not saying anything. And it could be because they know they wronged you in the past. So let's see, Pisces. Let's pull this up. Let's pull it up. So we're working with the Magician. Okay, so let's see what this Magician energy is. We have the Ace of Cups here at the bottom of the deck with the Lovers. Again, the Lovers has been like popping for like everybody's reading. The Ten of Pentacles with the Justice card. So somebody's trying to come in. Somebody's like choosing you or telling telling you they're choosing you. Or they want you to be like the mother, father of their kids. They want to have a family with you. They want to get married. They've chosen you. Um, maybe you turn this person down. Or you're just, maybe it's too late. You're emotionally detached, okay? Or this person has a lot of secrets or something like that. Let's pull though. What is this Magician card? Magician for my Pisces. What is Magician for my Pisces? All right, so let's see. We got the justice and the judgment together that popped out here. Okay, so let me pull a couple of more cards. With the Three of Wands. 
There's something you've been trying to manifest here, possibly in secret or behind the scenes. Three of Wands, High Priestess. You could be very spiritual, okay? Five of Pentacles, World Card. I don't know if this is a home or an increase in finances that's showing up here. Um, but I feel you getting your confidence back after some sort of like heartache, heartbreak, disappointment, tower moment here. Hmm. It just really feels like you guys were stuck for a while. You could have been feeling depressed or just not really knowing where to go or how to how to make some sort of move or something like that. But the temperance card, I feel like some sort of peace and harmony is coming back in your life. You got the four cups, something dealing with work or something's working out for you in regards to your happiness. Three of swords. It's like there's good things happening for you, but there's something that's still bothering you. What else is this magician card? Six of cups. It gotta be a Virgo or a Gemini here from your past. And then the ace of swords. Justice, Judgment, Six of Cups, Magician, Ace of Swords. Maybe somebody is trying to come in and now tell you the truth about a situation or now they want to lock it down. But with the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords, I feel like you're shutting that down here. Okay? I do feel like you guys are having some sort of victory. You're being very victorious in something that you have going on in your life. Um, but then we got the Five of Wands and we got the Four of Wands. There's some sort of conflict happening in a relationship here. Or there was or a home situation. Or whatever this truth that's being exposed, um, it feels like this is something that has happened like a little while ago. So maybe somebody or some sort of uh, secret is being exposed or is resurfacing here. Five of wands, four of wands, and a page of swords, and a death card, and a five of swords. You're shutting somebody down because it was just too much, um, but this person is still watching you. Could be a Scorpio. What is this Ten of Wands for my Pisces spirit? What's the Ten of Wands for my Pisces? We got the Eight of Pentacles. Like, yeah, you guys have been working very hard on um, establishing something or stacking your money up, um, securing the bag. This is my securing the bag card, preserving yourself, preserve, preserving your energy as well. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Eight of Pentacles that came out here. Eight of Wands, Five of Cups, and a Moon card. Somebody is going to be communicating. Or maybe this person, someone made it very hard for you. Um, or made the relationship very hard or the connection. What's incoming is regrets, some sort of secret, something that's hidden here. Or this person could be coming in um, trying to message you. It just feels like you have a lot on your plate. This person didn't necessarily help you out. They made things heavier. And if you guys are separated, they're kind of trying to penetrate, you know, like come back into your energy. But I feel like you're protecting yourself. What else is this Ten of Pentacles? This was the full card. So Aries energy. You could be feeling again like foolish. All right. Or this person thinks you're a fool. And we got the four of pentacles. Yeah. So some, there's like trickster energy. It could be a Gemini or a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. Um, but this is someone from your past. Could be a Libra as well or an Aquarius I'm picking up on. Um, but I feel like you're very secure or you're very close to securing something. Or you're just very close to kind of being where you want to be in life. And accepting this person back into your life is going to be a heavy burden. It's going to, it's a foolish decision because you're already at the eight of pentacles. And if you make this foolish leap of faith here, it's going to knock you down from the eight of pentacles to the four of pentacles here. Um, then we got the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is what's going to manifest here. Seven of cups, confusion, eight of uh, swords, mental conflict, imprisonment, seven of swords, deception and lies, the devil card, the magician card. Uh-uh. Hermit, hey man, don't do it, Pisces. I mean, you can make your own decision, but I'm telling you, if this is someone from the past coming back, friend, whatever it is, family member, whoever it is for you, it's going to manifest into confusion, okay, illusions, all right, mental confliction, lying and deception, if somebody could be a thief stealing from you, the devil, toxic, the magician, manipulative, I'm not liking this energy. What is going on with the collective? Okay, so what's this page of swords? It's kind of like they are, they could talk a good game, um, 
but they they're not gonna back it up with this page of swords energy here feels like they talk a good game they talk the talk but they they don't walk the walk okay so they could have a habit or a pattern of doing this you already know this or this is just a confirmation um a warning for you what is this page of swords from my pisces it just feels like somebody's a liar and they could be telling you anything like telling you what you want to hear um trying to tempt you okay so we got the six of wands yeah, like they're trying to make themselves seem more of a stand-up person than they really are. Then we got the three of cups here. Mm -mm. Or they're trying to like make you feel good. They're lying to kind of like make you feel good, make you feel on top of the world. Like they worship you. You're the best Pisces, this, that, and the third. But at the bottom of the deck, behind the scenes, we got this third party situation, the three of cups and the page of cups here so this is them just kind of really like draining your energy taken from you causing chaos and conflicts with the five of wands and your happiness which you're really working on right now you could have children as well maybe two picking up on little boy energy or a boy and a girl um but the three of swords is gonna take you straight out of this happiness and back into this three of swords energy okay definitely could be dealing with a cancer or uh, you have cancer in your chart here king of cups all right um, so let's see what else. So we got the six of wands. I just hear like they talk a good game. They really talk a good game. What is this? Um, what is this page of swords? What else is this page of swords? I just saw the, um, the four of wands. Somebody's really trying to like convince you to like get back with them or to agree to something. This could be a contract too. I'm picking up on because this page of swords has like this little um, rolled up paper in his hand, and then I saw the four of wands. So it could be a contract. It just kind of seems like something is a little fishy here. Something like read the fine print, get a lawyer if you have to. Don't sign anything quickly because it just feels like somebody's kind of like um gassing you up but it's not a lot of stability behind whatever this offer is yeah look so we got the will of fortune that came out here so we got the chariot with the knight of swords which both are cards of very fast movement like kind of just moving before thinking really jumping into something here somebody's trying to like really woo you and persuade you to jump into something here star card promising that you're going to be a star you're going to get this you're going to get that but after that we got the ten of swords that came out here feeling defeated the ultimate defeat and we got the will of fortune so it's like it's delaying your fortune here it's putting a stop to it. I mean, no one can really put a stop to our own fortune here, but it's going to knock you back so far, like from this eight of pentacles to the four of pentacles, okay? Magician card. This is what's going to manifest on top of this magician. This person is a magician. I'm picking up even on like a, like a dirty car salesman or something. So I don't know if you guys are trying to buy a car or a house or just like a sale. Somebody's trying to sell you. They're selling you. They're trying to sell you something. Hangman energy is going to leave you stuck. You definitely could be feeling, um, dealing with the cancer because cancer had this energy too right behind the hangman energy you got the ten of wands okay again you already got the ten of wands down here on the table knight of pentacles okay um two of pen it's gonna cause instability two of pentacles ace of pentacles you're already on your way to the ace of pentacles and maybe this person is trying to resurface or just surface in general and convince you that their way is better or that they can help you or try it this way or don't do this. Maybe they're giving you wrong advice, but you're on to something good here. We already said with the page, page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the six of swords and the knight of cups, you're already, you're already on to something very great here. And it's like somebody's trying to convince you otherwise. Don't know if this is a lover or not. Um, <sighs> If this is relating to a relationship, like the grass is not greener. And I'm gonna just leave it at that. So if this is you, the grass is not greener. If this is your person, hopefully they know the grass is not greener because it's not worth it. We got new love here at the bottom of the deck already. We got change. We got toxic relationship. Okay. Hmm. And then we I saw party. New love change and toxic relationship. Like, yeah, somebody's making something seem like this new opportunity, this new relationship, whatever it is, like it's all nice and shiny. Um, and you're going to grow from it. It's going to be abundant. But toxic relationship was right after that. Like, it's not as good as it seems. Okay. The grass is not greener. Let's see. What else? This is the love oracle deck. So what do we have for my Pisces? 
We got signs and synchronicities. Okay, so follow the signs and synchronicities. Trust your intuition. Um, we have regret. I feel like if you do not, you might be feeling regretful. We also have ex-lover at the bottom of the deck. So this could be in regards to ex-lover. Um, you regretting the, the decision to kind of like give something another chance here. We got date behind that and we got toxic relationship. Okay, and then we got relationship. Somebody's already in a relationship here. Somebody's married, legal matters. It's like somebody's trying to like get you out. Give me one more chance, Pisces, this, that, and the third. But it's not what it seems to be. The grass is not greener. Ghosted. Look at this. Mm -mm. This person could be greedy or they could just be trying to get something that you have or money or I don't know, clout or something. Ghosted and reconciliation here. Mm -mm. This person probably ghosted you in the past. Unfinished business. They feel like you have unfinished business. Divine intervention and third party. If it ended in the past, it's because of a third party, okay? Or if it's this is happening in the next two weeks, it's because of a third party. Divine intervention. Spirit is going to let you know about this regardless. It's going to come out. We have poise and mending at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to pull um, one wisdom card for you guys. Deep knowing is also what I just saw. All right, yeah, something about a feminine energy, like you know something about a, maybe a Libra, okay? Let's see. What do we have, Spirit, for my Pisces? What's the advice? What's the wisdom oracle message for my Pisces in regards to the situation? First two weeks of September, Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know? So we have imagine, okay, using your imagination. Poise at the bottom of the deck. We got milk and honey, and we got deep knowing, I feel like this imagine is you needing to be focused, to stay focused on whatever you're focused on. If you're separated from someone, if you're no longer friends with someone, drop the family member, like stay focused on this milk and honey, this lifestyle that you're that you're building for yourself. OK, stay focused on the end goal here. Um, there's a promise. There's something that's promised to you. So even if you are going through the storm right now, cancer, that crazy storm experience in their reading, um, with this deep knowing, like, you know this is the right path or you know what you're doing is right. Don't let anybody convince you otherwise, okay? Poised, here and now, just stay, hold your composure, okay? New life, you're so close to something, Pisces, okay? Orphan, higher power, and yang. There could be somebody else that's just feeling less than and they just, they kind of want to mess this up. So I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys.